Okay, so here we go. Leilani Electronics uh, 8x16 RGB temperature display. Okay, here's the schematic. Let me expand it so we can see it better. I know it looks like a lot, but it's fairly simple. So I'm going to just slowly drag across, you know, up and down. So you can see it. Okay. Um, here's the title. Revision when it was done. 8 by 16. Well, I forgot to put temperature in there, but I'll add that later. Repost it. Okay, first we started with the power supply. The LM2940 is a 5 volt regulator. It can handle up to 1.5 amps. Um, uh, this is your input protection diode on and off switch and your output. Okay, we come over to the LM34 uh, temperature sensor. It gives you 10 millivolts per degree. Now they come in two types, Fahrenheit or Celsius. I use the Fahrenheit. So for example, if it's 70 degrees, the output, the analog voltage output of that sensor on pin two is going to be 700 millivolts. So 10 millivolts times 70 degrees is 0 0.700. So that's 700 millivolts. It then goes into a 10 bit a to D converter, the MCP3001 single channel A to D converter. It's referenced at 5 volts, so it's going to give you a 10 bit, a 10 bit output proportional to the input voltage. That goes over to the PIC 16F88 right here, U1. And that constantly is talking to this guy right here, saying, what you got, what you got. And he's going to keep giving them, he's going to take a reading. I think I got a program to take a reading like every, every uh, 20 milliseconds. So that's like five, that's like five times, five times a second, which you could really, it's really kind of overkill, but you could change it. You know, it really needs to take a temperature reading maybe twice a second but you know that's what I initially had it set for okay that um, the chip also talks to the drivers which drives the uh, two 8x8 RGB displays U7 and U8 there's a driver at the bottom this is for your columns because these are common column um, dot matrixes and these guys up here are for the rows so you would turn on um, a row and then you would put your 8 bits on the column and so on to get your, your pattern uh, this micro 5891 is a 8 output uh, driver that is um it's a positive output that means they go high at five volts and it's capable of handling 500 milliamps per channel the stp 16 cp05 goes low so the outputs are active low they can handle up to 100 milliamps per channel all at once the micros is recommended to draw one or two at a time you don't want to turn them all on at the same time because you'll damage it it'll fry it the diodes here d3 through d26 or your um your uh, drop down diodes which i put on there because these these displays can only handle a certain amount of voltage before you damage the leds on them so example like the blue can handle four volts. The red, I think, is like 2.8. The green is like 3.8. So you need some diodes to drop down the voltage to a safe level. Now they go on and off so fast that you know a couple millivolts here and there ain't gonna damage it. But you just don't want to put five volts on there. 
Okay, and these are also serial port, serial port. So again, let's, uh, let's recap what we got going on. We got the temperature sensor, puts out a voltage, the A to D converter reads it, talks to the chip. The chip says, okay, he's seeing this, so I'm programmed to display this data via the drivers. And we'll get into that um, in another video. The, the uh, program is a little bit more complicated and takes a little bit more time. Um, okay, here's your buttons, B1, B2, and B3. B3 I got set to um, change the color. So again, it's, R it's a RGB, so you can get tons of different colors. My initial um, uh, program, I just got it set for red, green, blue, and orange. But you can make you can make tons of colors. Uh, B1 is um, uh, I have interrupt on. I just put that on there just when I was doing the schematic. But I got to change that. This is going to be the change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So you'll be able to toggle between the two. The reset, I use uh, microchips um, almost in all my circuits, and I always use the reset. That's this, um, the reset, the whole circuit. It just clears everything and starts from the beginning. So, and these little, let me expand this. These little um, uh, inputs you see right here, that's, that this goes to show you where the uh, in circuit serial port pins are at on the uh, on the uh, PCB. You have five of them, so you know a lot of people don't put them on their schematics. I do to kind of give people an idea, you know, of where you connect them if you wanted to reprogram this this chip. Okay, five volt regulator. Input protection diode on and off switch, 9 volt input, column drivers, road drivers, drop down uh, diodes, uh, your your uh, bypass capacitors, which you should have on all your chips. You know, each one should have their own, you know, to help, you know, with the noise, spikes, and whatnot. Okay, and that, that's pretty much it pretty uh simple circuit you know like i said it looks like a lot but it's not um i'm gonna do another video on the program and how you can display um a particular like number or image on the on the uh, the modules here there's one there's two let me come back up let me take a look at that uh, real quick, let me go over to the uh, circuit board. Okay, real quick, here's a sneak peek at the uh, the circuit board for the uh, 8x16 RGB temperature display. Uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into this in another video, but I just wanted to show you guys the the, the layout. This is probably actual size right here, maybe this right here. But if you expand it again, Express PCB. Is the software I use for all my schematics and circuit boards. Here's the top layer, bottom layer. I try to make all my bottom layers go left and right. Top layers up and down. Here's your silk screen. Here's some diodes. Uh, here's your drivers, the chip, the sensor, programming port, regulator. Uh, again, we'll get into this in another video. I'm um, gonna break down how, you know, how I lay out the components, traces, uh, soldering it. But this is just a quick look at it. Uh, I try to do my best, take my time with these boards because you only get one shot once you order them. You can't send them back. You can't say, "Oh, I want this to go this way." So you have to almost like quadruple check it. And in the past, when I was learning it, I messed up quite a few times. That's why I just take your time, look at the board, eyeball it, come back the next day, do it again, you know, and, and make sure it's right. But this is the board for it. I hope you guys like it. Click the link below. Go to the website, leilonielectronics.com for more information. You can print all this out.
I'll get the program. I'll put the, these boards, the board up in PDF. But right now, you know, the uh, schematic and the, uh, oh, I got to put the parts list. I'll do that. But the schematic and the videos are up on the site. You can look at it, dissect it. I'll put more information up. Thank you. Hope you like it. Lailonelectronics.com.